Finally, we uh, give the floor to Mr. Jonathan Gar uh, Granoff, the Global Security Institute. Chair, delegates, friends, we call on governments to welcome civil society more explicitly. I'm speaking not only on behalf of the Global Security Institute, but also the Parliament of the World Religions as its ambassador for nuclear disarmament. We thus suggest the following paragraph. Welcoming and encouraging the engagement of civil society in education and advocacy to obtain a nuclear weapons free world, we call upon all governments to actively support such efforts. At the last General Assembly, a resolution, an extremely unique, important resolution was adopted, taking the elimination of nuclear weapons above geopolitics and placing it squarely upon universal moral footing. The ethical imperative for a nuclear weapons free world, 7155, very much like the resolution that convenes us here today, resolution 71258, was not obtained by consensus, but by a vast majority of the world's nations. And it states in relevant part in its declaration, and I quote, given their indiscriminate nature and potential to annihilate humanity, nuclear weapons are inherently immoral. Recently, Archbishop Desmond Tutu addressed this core issue, and he said, the development and stockpiling of weapons of mass destruction by any state is morally indefensible. It breeds enmity, distrust, and threatens peace. Further arms races and provocations will lead us inexorably to catastrophe. We all understand that deterrence is not an abstract endeavor, but involves making thousands of people ready to annihilate humanity. It rests on making the threat to use nuclear weapons present, credible, and real. To rest global security on such flawed moral footing is the pinnacle of folly. To quote the, the most renowned realist in geopolitics, George Kennan, he said, the readiness to use nuclear weapons against other human beings, against people we do not know, whom we've never seen, and whose guilt or innocence is not for us to establish, and in doing so, to place in jeopardy the natural structure upon which all civilization rests, as though the safety and perceived interests of our own generation were more important than everything that has taken place or could take place in civilization, this is nothing less than a presumption, a blasphemy, an indignity, an indignity of monstrous dimensions offered to God. If the knowing annihilation of civilization is not considered morally unacceptable, then what moral standards could apply to anything? Thus, we suggest the following inclusion in the preamble. Asserting that, the, that given their indiscriminate nature and potential to annihilate humanity, nuclear weapons are inherently immoral, and condemning the immorality of knowingly causing or threatening to cause irreparable environmental damage devastating climactic change, or horrific suffering and death to countless non-combatants through the use of nuclear weapons. Thank you. <laughs>